His time in this world is limited, but instead of worrying about himself, a Seymour native wants to help others. A more than 60 mile trip down a southern Indiana River will help in that mission. The open water, the chorus of insects, the serenity at Lake Stanfield. I love the outdoors. Has always helped Toby Stigden find his peace. And that has been more important in the past year than ever before. I woke up one morning and I couldn't turn my head at all. It just got worse and worse. Within two weeks, I had a biopsy and, and they, you know, came back that it was cancer. Not just thyroid cancer. A doctor explained it spread to his lungs. It is, it is terminal. My wife uh, started crying. I was holding the tears back. Telling his children couldn't have been any easier. I just got to live each day and spend as much time as I can with my family. But that's far from all he plans to do in his final days. That's who I am. I want to make people happy. I want to make people smile. Toby wants to help people in the same boat as him. Someone diagnosed with terminal cancer at his age could easily say, oh, poor me. But he's raising money for others suffering with cancer in his hometown of Seymour. Lived just a few blocks from where the cancer center was established. Snack Hospital says a lot of times they have patients missing treatments because they can't afford a gallon of gas uh, to get here or they can't afford the medication they need after their treatments. The kayaker has already raised quite a bit but hopes to get that fund overflowing with a trip down the East Fork of the White River, something he's calling kayaking for cancer. It's just such a, a beautiful example of, um, of, a, of a giving heart. It won't be easy. In fact, the October trip will be 66 miles and his condition has weakened what he can physically do at least a little. But family will be by his side. They're going to go along with me, be there for my moral support and physical support if, if, if something goes wrong. We need a lot more Tobies. And when the one they have has taken his final ride on the water, He hopes the legacy he leaves behind. You have a good morning? No. No. <laughs> That's never good words from a fisherman. We'll encourage others to live in the same way that he is dying. But I just tried to help as many people as I could. Um, you know, that I cared, I, I had a giving heart. At the Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge with photojournalist Dominic Furman. Chris Suter, WDRB News. And if you would like to help in Toby's mission, he asked that you donate $66 to the Schneck Medical Center Foundation. 66 because as we mentioned in the story, his trek on the kayak will take him 66 miles. 100% of your donation will help patients at the cancer center there in Seymour. What a tough guy. It is hard yes. to imagine what he's going through and he's doing it with such poise and strength and uh, we could all learn a little something from Toby. We do need more Tobys and yeah. 66 miles. I know he can do it. Yes, absolutely.